overwhelmed. <laughs> well, are you overwhelmed? <laughs> I believe the good woman thought I'd forgotten my station and you yours. Little does she know that I'm the servant and you the mistress. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that look. She thinks I do not know myself, and that you are doing as all men must. Jane, she doesn't know us. All the same, sir. Sir, when did I become sir again? Last night, you stood before the heavens and pronounced yourself my equal. That's the Jane I want to marry, to share my life. Will you dine with me tonight? No, sir. Edward. You promised to call me Edward. Until we marry, if we marry. In one month, one short month, you'll be Mrs. Rochester or I'll be damned. Then until that morning, I will call you Mr. Rochester. Mm. That is halfway between Edward and sir. I'll continue to teach Adele. Oh. We will go on as before. Then it will be seen that this idea, this marriage, is a sensible proposition. I'm not interested in pleasing Mrs. Fairfax. But for you, for you, I will obey. Now hurry up and get your bonnet, or we'll be late. For what? We're going to town. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not coming. Out of there now. Oh, please let me come, Miss uh... No, absolutely not. Jane and I, Miss Eyre and I, are going shopping by ourselves. Shopping? Were you listening to a word I said? Just today. To celebrate. But come, come, you can't get married in that. I will not be married at all if you force me into that ridiculous carriage. <gasps> John, bring up the other carriage. Sit. And Adele shall come too. Send her to school yet? Will I go without Mademoiselle? Absolutely, sans Mademoiselle. I'm going to take Mademoiselle away to Europe first, where I will take her to all the grand palaces and present her to all the kings and queens. You cannot do that because she has no jewels. Oh, she will have. In London, there's a very special box filled with jewels. I will send for them immediately, and Mademoiselle will be covered in them from head to toe while she teaches you mathematics. <laughs> and when Madame, as you will be then, when Madame is tired of all those kings and queens, I will take her to a villa, whitewashed and secluded, on the edge of the Emerald Mediterranean. Yes, yes, this will do very well. We need at least six day dresses. These the evening fabrics. We'll need three at the most. And this for the veil? No. Even Adele would draw a line at that. There. This is much more suitable. Huh. Now, evening dresses. Mademoiselle, what do you think? No. This is for Mademoiselle. Child knows you better than I do. I'll take it. <laughs> 